Can you guys hear me now? Oh, okay. I see it starting to come up in the window. Okay. You guys should be able to hear me now. Hopefully you are hearing me now. <laughs> I am like, wow. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. I am. Whew. Mic check and video check. Yay. Okay. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, my goodness. What an adventure this has been. So I've told you guys I was looking to test out some new streaming software. And you will see in the upper right-hand corner of your screen, there is the Ecamm Live logo. All right. Just looked like that blipped. As long as you guys can still see me and hear me, I'm, I'm kind of trying to monitor things on YouTube on a separate page or on a separate monitor just because this is the first time I've used this. And you will see the Ecamm.live uh, logo. I am not sponsored by Ecamm. I, I wish. No. <clears throat> this is just the version that I can, um, sorry, I'm, I'm just trying to check everything at the same time. This is just a version that I can test out and I can give it a try. If I like the way it works today, I will most likely take care of this and that'll go away. You won't see it next time. So yeah, that's where we're at. That is where we are. You are still good. Okay, great. Thank you. And I am still learning this. Everything has been so new. I've been trying for the last week to make sure that I had all of this squared away and I'm reaching. Hopefully I won't reach under the camera. And speaking of the camera, we right here have a brand new camera for you today. We are streaming on my Canon M50 Mark II. Um, <clears throat> which Lulu got me for my birthday. And I had problems with it. I actually had to go through a whole thing, get a new camera. It was, it was a mess. But anyways, we are here today. We are on it. I hope that's going to get you a better picture. We will still, <clears throat> excuse me. Ah, yeah, we will still be tweaking things as we go. But anyways, things should be better. So let's get, let's jump. Sorry, I'm bumping my whole table. Let's just jump right in because I've kept you guys waiting long enough with all of this. So Starving said, oh no, not tech issues again like Joseph had. Yeah, I thought that was what it was going to be. I was like, oh, wait a minute, because I'm looking at the streaming window that it should have gone up in. And when I, I think when I clicked to go live, I just <clears throat> thought, <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. I had thought that I had clicked on the correct stream and apparently I didn't. So here we go. I have my, boom, latest order from Blick that came in. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to open it with you guys because in here, we've got that black brusho that we've been talking about. Let me just real quick, because you are all here. Uh, hello to my mod. Gypsy Heart Crafts is in the house. And uh, if any of you guys were in her stream last night. That was such a blast. Thank you so much for having me on as your guest host on the mic. That was so funny. Oh, I had a great time. I hope that anybody that was there had a great time. And, you know, I think I surprised a couple of people when I started talking instead of actually starting to talk. Uh, hello to Teresa Mazzotti and Starving Artist Collective. Oh, hazelnut coffee. Hazelnut. Is that hazelnut coffee? Hazelnut coffee. Yes, hazelnut coffee. I just had to finish reading. Oh, I could go for a cup of coffee right now. So, yeah, just a few gremlins. Hobby artist is in the house. Hello, Bell Bolzer. And uh, just scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Oh, uh, Teresa, you. Let me see if this works now. Let me see. I'm trying to see if you guys see it supposedly, supposedly, I can click on something and you guys are supposed to be able to see it. And I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure. It might take me a hot minute to figure out how to get you guys on the, in my, in my window on screen, but I'll get it tweaked. I'll get it figured out. I'll get it figured out. 
All right. Um, I see Bill. I see Teresa. I see Tara. Hi, Tara. D, a.k.a. Diane Schwer. Hello. Hello. All right. Just trying to get up to the caught up. And Sheila Hubbard. Hello. All right. I'm not sure why you guys aren't seeing these things, but you know what? You've been looking at this box for long enough. Let's get into it. I am not sure. I don't know how much of a delay you guys have on this one. Again, uh, your patience is greatly appreciated because I am going to be learning this. There's reasons why I switched. And right now, I am not going to delay you by getting into those, but I can share them later. Let me just get my paperwork out of here. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, you ready? First thing I got these little holders, which are for some a new supply, which will come in this box. Let me just get some of this stuff out of here and I get this big old box out of the way. Just bring everything out on the oh. I'm gonna tell you, I don't know how many of you guys order stuff from all right there let's get the box out of our way okay and you stop here and all the crinkles of plastic and everything else okay so yeah i don't know how many of you guys I, every now and then i get open stock and look you see the tip that used to be on that pencil it's not there i don't even see it in the bag Normally, if it breaks in root, it will be in the bag. And you see that? It's not in the bag anywhere. There's no lead. So that was broken before they sent it to me, which is kind of disappointing. A little disappointed in that, Blick. Um, unless they come standard that way, but I don't think so. So what this is... <coughs> Excuse me. And Jamie said, yay, goodies. And again, I don't know why they're not showing comments or not showing up on the... Screen. I might figure it out, but this, I don't know. Does anybody else have the, <coughs> hold on a second. Does anybody else have the Pit Graphite Matte Pencils by Faber-Castell? Uh, were they all pre-sharpened to a point? It's really hard to see if this was broken or it just comes blunted. So anyways, I wanted to test one of these matte pencils. I've been wanting one. And I wasn't going to get, um, I wasn't going to get the whole set yet. I just wanted to try one out because I've shown you in my studio tours and in my other art halls, I have a bunch of graphite supplies, graphite pencils, different sets of graphite pencils, <clears throat> but the pit graphite matte, I heard were beautiful because they don't show like that um, the sheen that graphite does. So I said, you know what? This one, I chose the 14B. And the reason that I chose the 14B was because it's not in the regular set that I was going to get. This would have been an extra because I was going to get, um, I wasn't going to get the one that came with all the extra, all the extra stuff like the eraser and the things like, because I just don't need it. I have too much of that in the studio already. So this one, the 14B, was not going to be in the set that I will order if I like this pencil. So that's why I chose this one. And yeah, I'm just, I'm looking forward to using it. I'm not going to use it today, I don't think. Um, but I will be sharing that with you soon. So I'm just going to set it behind me for a moment. I won't remember where it is two minutes from now. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Okay, next up, and you see I have brush over here, so I'm going to save that to the end because we are going to be using this today. And um, oh, Hobby Artist says, love how carefully Blick packs orders for shipping. Was that sarcasm or was that serious? Because for me, it's hit and miss. Like usually everything is packaged so well. The only thing I've ever had a problem with is when I ordered colored pencils open stock. Like I got all of my... Uh, light fast pencils. I filled in my light fast pencils. I filled in my 
ink tense pencils to complete my sets. And when I did that, um, I got, what was I going to say? I got that they all came to me open stock and then some were like back ordered. So are we frozen? Are we frozen? Do we have a problem? Hold on. Wait a minute. I'm just making sure because I see, I saw Jamie's question. Are you okay? Um, Oh, there it is. Are you okay? Ah, oh, I figured it out. Thanks, Jamie. You helped me figure it out. So, yes, I am okay. Um, if I have to rush around, especially before a stream, which I was because this was chaos. Literally, guys, I've been working on this since first thing this morning, trying to make everything work. So, oh, that just jumped. And, yeah. So, if I have to cough or something, I will mute my mic because you guys don't want to hear that, especially if I have to cough. For, and, and so, until it settles down... Um, yeah, it's just a condition that I deal with. So, uh, and let me see, but thank you for asking if that's why you were asking, but I do mute have to, every once in a while, I'll mute my mic. So if all of a sudden it goes really silent, that's what I did just because I don't want to, you know, somebody's watching with earbuds in, or, you know, some people just don't want to hear the like coughing, clear the throat or something like that. So I'll just kind of mute it. So, okay. Um, da -da 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 -da. I mean, just the like, yay for goodies. We got that. <clears throat> yes, they come sharpened, Jamie said. Okay, so Jamie did say they come sharpened. <clears throat> so that uh, means this one was, it was probably broken before it went into the bag. And I'm not going to fuss over this one. I ordered it as a sample to try it. It wasn't, um, you know, yeah, it's going to go into my stash, but whatever. It's, it's fine. It's fine. And it's fine. <laughs> We're just going to go with it's fine. Ah. <sighs> Okay. Uh, D says, I contact them, meaning Blick, when that happens and they always send me a new one. Yeah, they do too for me. Um, when I had the issues with my Lightfast coming to me, and guys, you know, if any of you who have bought a Lightfast pencil, open stock, those things are like $4. Well, they had a sale and, and Blick did and they went to $2 and I was like, huh, I am buying every single color I'm missing. So I completed my set and a lot of them were on back order. So I turned around and um, as they filtered in, like they didn't ship them. I'm like, they would come in a like a, an envelope. I'm like, no. So anyways, I called Blake and I was like, look, I use them in a professional capacity and they need to be intact. I am paying for an intact you know, a brand new pencil. And I don't want to have to, I want to use that first bit of it. I don't want to have to sharpen it away. I want to use it. So yeah, they do. They, they were great, but they are great. If you ever shop at Blick and I use, I, I am an affiliate with Blick. So let me just put that out there. Um, I have links in the description below and one of them it says, if you prefer to get your art supplies from Blick, that link is in the description below. And yes, it does help my channel. They do pay me a small commission. It doesn't cost you anymore, but it's actually one of the things that helped me get the new supplies to show you for the things that you want to see. So by you getting the things that I show you, it helps me get more things to show you. You see how that works? <laughs> okay, I'm just finishing catching up on the chat. So I guess they come sharpened. Uh, Gypsy Cart Craft said, I will be coming up. You will be, what? I don't know what that is too. I probably missed something and you might not be talking to me. So that's fine. Um, and Hobby Artist said, I love how carefully Blick packs the orders, which is when I asked the question before. Um, let's see, let's see. Oh, Jamie says, I just got some. They will be in my videos. I have yet to try them out. And yes, a uh, huge like round of applause to Jamie Eddy, who is just starting her own YouTube channel. So best of luck to you. And um, I look forward to seeing your videos. And wow. Yeah, Teresa said, uh, Color, colored pencil magazine. The lead on it was broken. I used hand sharpener on mine. Your electric sharpener broke the lead twice. 
what is that on the on those matte pencils is that what you're talking about Teresa because that's like wow okay yes thank you thank you that's exactly exactly so if you hear me like mute something that's exactly why and can I move this down I'm just sliding this down a little bit because I know that hopefully that just I did that well I did that live so hopefully that doesn't really mess with you guys I just wanted to kind of be down and out of the way so that it's not blocking what we're doing later because I know that down here will be less um, stuff going on so uh, and yes she said that was totally serious never had a blank order come damaged you know, I got some paper one time, one time I received some paper and, and I will say it was a large, large thing of paper and um, they made it right. I called and let them know that the whole corner I sent, they asked me to send them a picture. I did and I had the new one sent out to me and it was not a problem. Tara said that everything was good. Okay. Um, oh, okay. I got Starving Artist Collective. These... Oh, did that, did that make it cut your message off? Hold on one second, because this is, no, that's your full message. Okay, I just want to make sure it wasn't cutting off anything that people were saying. So again, guys, thank you so much for your patience today. As I am trying out this new um, software and, <clears throat> excuse me, we are definitely, I just, it's, again, my goal every time, every video, just a little bit better, just a little bit better. So all these things I am trying to do to improve your viewing experience, and um, I hope that they're working. So the matte pencils are a mixture of graphite and carbon, and that makes it darker and less shiny when, uh, when using pressure, wanting to get the 14B to try. Yeah, I was like, ooh, a 14B? I don't know if I have a 14B in many sets at all. So, okay. Um... No, oh, see? She, okay, so that, I'm, I'm guessing that that is you haven't posted yet, but you're, that's a good idea. Get a couple videos um, under your belt, get them edited, and then start to go. And yeah, so fantastic. Congratulations, Jamie. That is excellent. Oh, I love, I just, I love seeing our community, like how it grows. And I just really appreciate supporting other artists. So, yes. Teresa said I had the same issue. Mine had the lead broken too. Uh oh. Let's not do that. Don't drink. Don't drink paint water. <laughs> oh, Jacqueline Turbot. Hey, I hey I finally made it from Jacqueline in Nova Scotia. Well, welcome, Jacqueline. I'm so glad that you're here. And I just figured, you know, we're gonna go. I'm catching up with the chat. I wanted to um, be able to recognize everybody that is here and. We're going to get into some stuff. Right, see? Okay, D said the same thing. It was a, a pad of paper. And uh, well, and again, they sent you new ones. See, I'm telling you, Blick is awesome. And hey, we've got Caution Artist that plays in the house. Hello. Shauna Rowe Jackson is here with us today. And okay. Oh, well, thank you, Belle. Thank you, Belle. It is in the description and it definitely helps the channel and helps me buy more supplies that you guys want to see. So, you know, anytime like people put give a request, like I had a request um, not long ago uh, to get something and help from my affiliate stuff is what helps me be able to buy that stuff. Because, I mean, my husband is very supportive, but there's only so many times he lets me click check out. <laughs> so... All right, let's see. I'm just checking to make sure. Oh, so thank you for asking. Um, yeah, for those of you who don't know, I do have fibromyalgia and I was suffering really bad, especially in January. You guys didn't see a lot of me in January. That had a little bit to do with it. Um, but I was really busy with other stuff too. And next week, oh, all right, I'm not going to tell you about next week yet. I'm going to tell you about next week in just a few minutes. So just a few minutes because there was something like well I think a fuzz was flying through the air there um <clears throat> it has something to do with also why I was a little absent um in January okay 
I don't know where Joseph is. I am not sure. He, excuse me, I was running, oops, I was running a little behind today because I was trying to get this new software to work. And um, so he may not realize that we are live right now. He may have missed, you know, lost track of time or whatever, or, but it's okay. We have, we do have uh, Ashley here today and yeah, see, he's being missed. He's being missed. All right, came in the middle 10. Okay, am I almost there? See, again, there we go. I had a couple of panels come damaged in a package from Blick, but other than that, I can't think of any other time I've had issues with them over the years. It's so good to hear because that's that has been my experience, that, that they just stand behind their products and they really help us artists out. So, what's in the white box thing? What's in the white box thing? Thank you, we're getting back on track. You ready? I will show you what's in the box and yeah, our that is our husbands in general, I think Jamie said. Yes, very supportive. So we'll see that in a second. These, wait a minute, just to do, go over the little little things real quick. I added a another silver black velvet brush, which you guys know how much I love my silver black velvet brushes. <coughs> and apparently, oh, I think it, this one's actually sealed. This doesn't have a, yeah, and sometimes they have like it, the plastic flaps over and, and sticks to it. This one, yes, anyways, I'm not going to use it today, but this is a quarter inch striper. And you see that right there you go. Really looking forward to using this. So this is going to be with my other silver black velvet brushes. The brushes, <coughs> just a second guys. So the brushes that I'm going to be using today, are, I'm going to keep testing and they're in the description below. I'm going to continue testing those ones that I was trying to see if they work similar to silver black velvet because I would love, I mean, I've shared my silver black velvet brushes, which you guys know, again, yes, my favorite, but currently my favorite, <clears throat> excuse me. However, um, they are pricey. Yes, they are pricey. So I wanted to make sure or I wanted to, my goal is to find some that are a little more cost effective so that those of you who maybe that's not silver black velvet brushes aren't in the budget right now, then, you know, you can have an alternative for some nice watercolor brushes. So also I added my, um, the Simply Simmons, which short, these are the short handles. This is a zero and a size one rigger. And I have some more, I'm like, where did they go? I've got these new rolly carts in here. Oh, I've got some new rolly carts in the studio and I had turned the one that I have all my stuff on for today is um, backwards and they were in that one. So I have these from Simply Simmons, boom. And I wanted some other riggers. I haven't found my favorite rigger yet. And I think I have one in the silver black, but I haven't used it. So, you know, I can't, I can't really make a thing decision there. So. I'm gonna, I'm saving this, I'm saving it. It's coming, I'm gonna show you in a minute. I'm super excited about what is in this box. Okay, let me see. I don't wanna like lose track of the chat and I'm hoping that unlike the other one, if I keep you right there, it won't jump on me, but we're gonna find out. So this, I am really excited, this guy. I'm really excited. I have, Lou is working on something for me and if you guys are not familiar, Lou is my husband. He, um, <clears throat> excuse me, his, I would say hobby for now, but it's expanding. Uh, I, he does a lot of woodwork. And so I have him working on a project for me. And, uh, Jacqueline, I just saw your question. What is Blick? Blick, it is Dick Blick. And Dick Blick, uh, dickblick.com. Uh, the link is in the description below. It's a wonderful store for artists. You can sell, there are some physical locations here in the U.S. Unfortunately, up in Maine, where I am at, I don't have one, so I can only utilize online. So I have to do that. Um, however, <coughs> excuse me. Yeah, 
It is an artist supply store, which is like, well, most of our playground. So yeah, check them out. Um, again, I do have a link in the description below. So if you need art supplies, go and have a look. Um, you, uh, you know, be careful because we all get very, we get lost at Blick, don't we? And then we like fill up our carts and we just kind of leave it. And then we go back and we shop some more and we leave it. So anyhow, back to this. I just saw that question. I want to make sure I answered that before I forgot. So Lou's working on a project for me and I ordered this, which is pad and book compound because I want, um, I want to bring you another solution <clears throat> for watercolor. I am so into watercolor and water medium right now. It just seems to be where my joy, it's like my joy has just landed there and I'm just so far, I'm just loving it. So <clears throat> I have a lot of um, pads of paper and I'm going to be bringing you a whole thing, a uh, video, possibly a series on papers. And one of the things I wanted to do, because how many of you like you love working on the block, but gosh, they charge you so much more for the block and you get fewer sheets. And so I have Lou <clears throat> working on a project for a little prototype. And once that's finished, I needed this because I am going to be showing you how I make my own blocks for watercolor paper. So that's why I ordered that. So that is going to be an upcoming video. So now in the box to answer hobby artist question, what is in the box? Foam. That's what's in the box. It's foam. <laughs> but inside the foam, I had to try them. I have heard people talking about um the daniel smith watercolor sticks you guys know i love daniel smith so these are the daniel smith watercolor sticks and what i did was i made sure i just grabbed three of them to start now the this little holder and i'll go over the colors whoops i'll go over the colors with you in a moment so you can see when i ordered three loosely this is how blick sent them to me i mean look at that they're packaged well there's foam on the bottom i mean this cardboard box is Okay. And then there was foam on the top. And so then this was all in here and it was, you know, taped, this was taped closed. So it could not, it couldn't fall out and get damaged. So yeah, guys, they take care of yourself. Now I had heard, I have heard, <clears throat> you guys let me know that the Daniel Smith watercolor, watercolor sticks are amazing. And for the price, now, do I have it right here? One second, guys. <coughs> I thought I put my... How many of you organize your studio and then it takes you like a while to learn there it is found it it takes you a, a while to learn um where everything's at now that it's so well organized all right so i got this guy and it is a little caliper because i said you know what i'm also going to be bringing you guys some colored pencil stuff and as i do that i want to make sure that um i can give you really accurate information and for whatever reason, this is not wanting to slide for me. I did it. Oh, there we go. I got to push the, push the thing. So really? Yes. I was pulling on the bottom and the top, which clearly they separate. Now I should be able to slide. Yeah, I've got it. It's okay. I'll be okay. So these sticks, that is 11. You guys see that? 11 millimeters. So they're pretty, they're a good size. That's a good, you know, they're a good diameter. And let me just put that, is that easier to see when I hold it over the white? So 11 millimeters. And how long are they? And I can actually go to inches, so. Just over three inches. So just over three inches long. And um, for those of you who are 
in inches, uh, 0.43 inches is their diameter. Okay. Or the 11 millimeters. So I hope you guys like this. We're going to be using this a bit because I think when I can give you information and give you very accurate information, it helps you make a better choice and decision for what's best for you. So I got lunar black and lunar black for those of you who don't know. Now, Daniel Smith has different names for some things. Um, you guys know this color, but you know it by a different name. And I'm looking, I know what the pigment is. I'm just looking for it, it says it right there. <clears throat> so lunar black, oh, this camera focuses so much better. Right there, PBK 11. So this is Mars black. Any other paint, watercolor, whatever, Mars black, PBK 11. And they fit right in the holder just like that. And you can keep these all together or I could snap them apart. Like if I just wanted to have them individually, I can actually snap these apart and then each one is individually in the thing. I wasn't sure where I was going to store them yet. Um, and then I kind of don't tell Lou. Bought some more drawers. Yeah, I got another stack of 10 drawers. <laughs> I found a place for them in the studio. So I may put them in there. And th you know, this may, my, my collection of these may grow. So then this color is rich green gold. And again, this was a color I did not already have in my watercolor palette. And the reason that, that is the reason I chose the colors I chose. Okay. So the um, lunar black, and I need to scroll and catch up with your questions. And I'm going to do that as soon as I'm done with this. So the PBK 11, I'm looking, oh, I don't know if my, Okay, guys, I was looking to see if they said like light fast series. I'm sh this is going to be light fast right there. I was like, I knew it would be on here. Light fastness. Wow, guys, I cannot. There we go. There you go. One. See it right there at the bottom. Okay, I'm going to love this camera if it helps me be able to see stuff better. And then the rich green gold and that one, there's, okay, have any of you guys, if you guys have been watching Ashley cover her, um, her, uh, huh, Schminka, super granulating watercolors, my brain, sorry, I just bumped my microphone, guys, I'm reaching for my glasses, this is why, that her video, is um why i got these because she did um one of the colors that i absolutely loved and i wanted to try and you know what i was missing one pigment and that was this guy with rich green gold which is py 129 and um yeah pigment all right, it's going to say stuff I don't want to pronounce. Azomethine, A-Z-O-M-E-T-H-I-N-E, azomethine yellow. Um, and this is PY129 is the pigment that makes this. And actually, I think you called it by a different color, like more common name when you were talking about it in your video. You could drop it in the comment. That's fine. And this is a, uh, looking for the light fast spot here. I don't know why I am not seeing that on this one. I would look at, I can look it up. If anybody's interested, just message me on me. If you want more information on that, I'll look it up. So, and then I got the phthalo green yellow shade. Oh, this was another one that I needed for one of the things I wanted to do. And this guy is, the pigment is PG 36. So PG 36, and that is phthalo green yellow shade. Now I have phthalo green blue shade, but I didn't have this one. So there's three colors that I did not have yet. And I'm not going to, I don't want to break these apart. Um, you know, I could, but I, I don't want to. The reason that I got them, <coughs> excuse me, 
because I could have ordered these in tubes. So why did I choose the sticks? I have heard quite a few times that the Daniel Smith watercolor sticks is like more watercolor. You're getting more for your money in a stick than even in the tube. Um, so these aren't linked yet in the description, but I will update that as soon as I'm finished. So, oh, but there is a link to Blick. So you can get there through that because it'll just say if you prefer to shop at Blick, click here. And that link will take you right there and just look up Daniel Smith watercolor sticks. It's going to take you right to them. <coughs> Excuse me. So I have heard that if you take these and my half pans are no longer where my half pans used to be. So I can't reach one, but I can reach my palette. My palette's usually not far from my desk. So they say, and there's all my lovely colors. So these are my Daniel Smith colors, the first three rows. And look at that. I was missing three colors. So it worked out perfectly. And then, of course, these are my 12 core watercolors, which right now are in here. These were sent to me, these 12 pans right here, by actually Gypsy Heart Crafts, by Ashley, to test them out and see what I thought. So those right there, um, and which is going to bring me to next week and give you an update. But. I thought these colors would add well to my palette. I did not have a black yet, and I had considered lamp black, but there was a reason I didn't go with the lamp black, which lamp black should be, is that PBK6, I believe lamp black is? Ashley will correct me if I'm not. Is this PBK11? Yeah, I believe it's PBK6, um, lamp black, because lamp black can really muddy your colors. So, I wanted something that would offer me granulation because I am just so loving granulation right now. And this, the PBK 11, the Lunar Black can do that. So that's why I chose this. And I am told that you see if I can get, just, I'm just grabbing one. Yes, it has stuff in it, but <clears throat> actually, <clears throat> excuse me. Oh. I was just trying to see if one of the, I thought I had one that was loose and the color had popped out and I didn't secure it back down yet, but I guess I already did. Oh, wait a minute. Is it that one? I knew I had one of my colors. Like I just messed with it and it just came loose, which is not a big deal because I poured these, I poured these myself. Yeah. All right. So my sepia. Okay. So I could take this, right? Set it in my half pan and maybe mark my stick, cut that much off, maybe get a little dot of like some gum Arabic or um, I have like some vegetable glycerin, boom, and stick that right into my palette. Once I start getting them wet, it's gonna stay anyways. It's gonna end up sticking um, or I'll just be careful with it. But now I can put that piece right there and what? almost fill half a half pan or I could make it the long way, right? cut it and then drop that down in there. And, but look at that, look at how much stick I still have left. Like I could do a half pan if I went half pan width and you see how much it's going to fill into, um, the half pan, right? So if we look at that, there's, there's one. So let me put my finger the other way. Cause I'm, I am right-handed. So here we go. There's one right at the end of the words. There's two, three. I could get at least four half pans out of this, at least four from this one stick. Or if I wanted to, you know, I could just take the sticks and, you know, right in with them. So we will turn, we will look at these. We will look at these in the future. If this is something you want me to check out and show you how I do that, then I absolutely, absolutely can. <coughs> oh, <coughs> excuse me. One second, guys. We talked about granulating color last night over, um, Ashley was doing live and she was do, uh, swatching the Schminka colors. And you see here, there is the Zoocyte Genuine. You see how that one, I know these are small swatches, but you see how that granulates? And look at the sodalite. Yes, that is sodalite genuine. Look, 
freaking really focus. Oh my gosh, I am loving this camera. Look at how that I can get you to focus up there. So that's Sodalite Genuine. Oh. And the Ultramarine Violet, of course, Ultramarine is a um, granulating color. So I have Ultramarine Violet, the Sodalite Genuine, Zoocyte Genuine. That raw umber has some granulation. Look at that Geothite Brown Ochre. And of course, Ultramarine does. And look at the Lunar Blue and the Moon Glow. I just, oh, and there's, okay, you see these Interference and the uh, Interference Green, Duochrome Arctic Fire, and Interference Blue. You ready? Let's see if I can get it to work. See how the colors change as I tip them? Those colors are incredible on black paper. And uh, although today, see, look at the difference in the colors. The Interference, um, they just change. They're like magic. Look at that under, oh, look at that undersea green. And then Duochrome Oceanic, that's another one that, that changes and shifts. And um, yeah, and the Iridescent, that Iridescent Moonstone. Oh, does that get a sheet, see the shimmer? So those were just some fun colors I wanted. Um, but really, this was my split primary. This was my split primary palette. And then I wanted Neutral Tint. And then I chose to have Sepia, Sap Green. I have Thalo Blue Red Shade, Cerulean Blue, and the Buff Titanium. And then I just kept adding ones that I liked beyond. And um, that's how I'm growing my Daniel Smith palette. But we were talking last night about, you know, yes, Daniel Smith are expensive, but you can start with just a um, split primary and they, they even sell that in a basic set. Um, those were the colors that I chose. Um, I think I had received one small primary set that had three colors and then I expanded from there. So that's that. Um, bringing the brush out so that you can see the two sets that we had last time. And now let's look at what's in the bag. We have added some colors and I know that that chat has been scrolling and I'm going to get caught up as quickly as I can. Excuse me, I need to pull in, I need to pull in uh, my own um, voice. I need my own voice in the chat that tells me who's asking what questions and because I would be all caught up with you guys and have heard everything that you guys are saying. So, but anyhow, I don't know. One day I'll probably have to, uh, <clears throat> sorry. One day I'll probably have to try to con Ashley over there, Gypsy Heart Crafts to come in and doing some voice on my channel. Okay. Before I tell you the colors, you know black is one of them. Black is one of them. I promised you, you guys stuck with me till the end last time. And I was like, if you stick with me, drop me the comment. I want to see the black brush out and I'll get the black brush out. And thank you. For those of you who were here, I had many people that, that came and watched the replay and still <coughs> dropped me a comment. <coughs> Excuse me letting me know they had watched everything, saying I want to see the black brush show. And I was like, okay, there was quite a few of you that did. So, all right, excuse me. I was like, I've got to, I've got to get you the black brush show. And, uh, <clears throat> wow, that just, I'm <clears throat> sorry, guys. <clears throat> all right. Let's get caught up on the chat. And if you are excited about seeing what that black brush show looks like and what it does, smash that thumbs up button. If you're watching the replay, smash that thumbs up button. I'm getting there and we're going to see it. And I'm going to, I, we're going to pick up the pace here and I apologize, but again, I appreciate your patience because it has been a few transitioning weeks and next week, I'm not forgetting about next week. I have to tell you about next week because I am super excited about next week. You guys are going to see some things. Next week is the week. Oh, Jamie read Jared's book. That is excellent. So anybody that's here that maybe doesn't watch um, Gypsy Heart Crafts on YouTube, you should. She's awesome. Um, I mod for her and she mods for me. So we kind of see a lot of the same people. <coughs> Excuse me. Jamie said she read Jared's book. So Ashley's husband is author Jay Smith, and he wrote uh, Chaos Reigns, Oath Broken. 
And I'm sure that Ashley uh, would be more than happy to drop a link to that right in the um, live chat. And then afterwards, Ashley, if you could even do me the favor, because we're now talking about it. So for all of you on the replay, I am going to have uh, Gypsy Heart Crafts post a comment and drop a link to that book. Because let me tell you, if we can just take one quick moment for station identification, <laughs> when we take one quick moment, I just want to say that uh, Chaos Reigns, Oath Broken, I had the honor of being a beta reader for him. And so I got to see it before the final draft was done. I loved it then. I really loved it when it was done. I'm like, it just kept the pace. The pace just kept going. I mean, he got you. He just like pulled you in chapter one. And then that was it. Once you were through chapter one, it's like there wasn't a spot. You know, sometimes you'd be like, oh, I've got to do this or I've got to do that around the house. I'm just going to read this chapter and then I'm going to get going and do something. Yeah, no, you're not. You're not going to want to put that book down. I read it. I literally, when I got the final draft after it was done editing, it was published. I read that book from cover to cover in less than a day. It was great. The edits were wonderful. And uh, yeah, so congratulations to Jay Smith, otherwise known as Misspelled Jared on YouTube. So yeah, that's him. Uh, let's see. So yeah, I hopefully actually do that. Drop it in the chat live. Post a comment after um, the live is over so it'll be seen in the comment section for other people. And that would be great. Okay, you guys do the at, client, at Clark Fine Art for me, but gosh, over here, it doesn't highlight. So that's going to be hard. I might have to come up with a new way for you guys to, um, I mean, if it starts with at Clark Fine Art, I guess I'm, <coughs> excuse me, being able to notice it. So, ha <laughs> ha starving. Uh, I, I'm see. I'm I'm gonna get to that question in just a second. Starving asked me a question, and uh, I just kind of cracking me up. Um, D said we have a physical store when we were talking about Dick Blick. I'm so glad that I'm remembering this. Uh, but at least for mine, it is usually higher priced and rarely have what I want. Wow. Wow. Well, I love shopping at DickBlick.com. And uh, for all of my art supply needs. And yes, folks, again, just disclaimer, I am an affiliate for Dick Blick. But I was already shopping with Dick Blick. And that is what made me choose to become an affiliate. Um, I just love their customer service. So not an advertisement for them. Again, if you weren't here in the beginning and you see that live right up here, that live, ecam.live. We are not being sponsored by Ecamm today. That is, um, well, it's because I am testing out their software. And before I decided to give them money, I wanted to make sure that we like it while we're streaming. And we, meaning me and you guys, I want to make sure that you're going to appreciate the experience as well. Um, so, yes. And, ooh, and so Teresa says, I make my own blocks too. <clears throat> well, Starving Artist Collective asked me, is Lou making you a book press? You started this. I don't think you realize. Well, you probably do realize. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Starving Artist Collective had shared <clears throat> over in our new art group on MeWe. I'm going to take one second to promote the heck out of this art group because you guys are awesome. It was asked also by Starving Artist Collective if I was interested in or could start um, my own art group on MeWe. And I do have an art group on Facebook. However, <clears throat> I rarely use Facebook. So MeWe was the natural next step. So what I did was um, I said, yes, I, I would. And I gave that some thought. And I, it's not under my name. You're not going to find it. It's not the Clark Fine Art Artist Group, which is what you would find me on if you were on Facebook and you wanted to join my art group on Facebook, which again, I'm not on 
Um, I'm rarely on. I'm not on so often. I am in the one on MeWe every day. So I am sure that Ashley's going to have that in the chat for you, but I also have it in the link in the description below. <clears throat> the, I named it Exploring Art. And the reason I chose that and didn't choose to copy the one that I already had over on Facebook, which was Clark Fine Art Artist Group, was because, you know what? <clears throat> Excuse me, man. I have just something, I don't know if it's like from cleaning in the studio or what, something has got my, my throat and my sinuses crazy. All right. Now, <clears throat> I created, it will go away, I promise. I created Exploring Art because Clark Fine Art Artist Group, you're not my artist. You are your, you are you. Uh, and we are all exploring art. It is, it is the direction that I am wanting to take my channel as you've kind of been seeing in the recent live streams, like new supplies. I want them. I want to try them. I want to dive into them. I want to play with them. I want to see what they can do. Um, so yeah, I'm, I am just having the time of my life exploring art. And I wanted to share that with all of you. And I wanted a place that you could share how you're exploring art with the rest of us. And I wanted a nice, positive environment where people are not... <clears throat> where people are not tearing uh, each other down and... You know, there's enough out there for all of us. There's no reason why we can't lift each other up. And that's, that is my philosophy. So yes, like I was just saying, Jamie Eddie has a new channel and uh, pretty soon you're going to start seeing some videos. I'm so happy for her and I am genuinely happy for her. You know what I mean? Like, I don't see that as competition. And I know a lot of people would. And I'm like, no, because I'm sharing my journey. The people who are here, the people who choose to click subscribe and come along on my journey, they're coming along for me. And, you know, that's that's amazing. And it humbles me. It really does the way that the channel is starting to grow. And I appreciate you guys so much. And I all I have to say, I'll tell you what's going to be coming up next Thursday in just a little bit. <coughs> so much I have planned. But... To uh, answer Starving uh, Artist, uh, excuse me, Starving Artist Collective's question, is Lou making me a book press? Starving shared a um, pictures over in the MeWe group, Exploring Art, and um, she had an old antique book press, or she has an old antique book press, and I was like, oh, oh. I, that is what I need. I so need that. And so then I started talking to Lou and I said, Hey, could you do me a favor? And, um, <clears throat> he's like, what? And I, so I told him what I wanted and I was like, so this is what I want. This is what I need it to do. And I don't know how you can make it or what you, you know, but this is what I need. Um, so. It is my hope. Here's one of our announcements. It is my hope, and I am very excited, that he is going to have a prototype ready for me before too long. And when the prototype um, is done, I am going to be sharing it with you. I am going to show you it. I'm going to show you how easy it's going to be for you to make your own uh, blocks for watercolor paper. Maybe you want to make your own um, sketchbooks or journals, right? You would be able to do this and it's going to be super easy. And I cannot wait to share that with you. And I did say he is making the prototype for me and I will be sharing that with you here on the channel. And, um, I may do an edited, an edited video for that because, you know, I'm going to want to set it up. I'm going to want to do it. I'm going to want to bind it 
and then of course it has to dry and then taking that apart. So it, that's going to be better if it was an edited format. So I will be bringing that to you. However, we are hoping our goal, I'm, I'm really hoping that it, the goal will come through in March. <coughs> Excuse me. We are going to have the shop fixed and up and working on clarkfineart.org. March, it is slated for me to do a lot of upgrades to that. And once the shop is set, yes, I am, I am trying to talk him into it. And I told him, I said, if we can get pre-orders, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> because he does work, you know, he does work a regular day job. But I said, if we could get pre-orders, then he would know exactly how many he'd have to make and he could get going on those. And of course I could pause the ordering at any time if he felt like he wouldn't be able to keep up with production because it's going to be something he's not going to want you to wait for. And he's going to want to get them out quickly. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so I don't know if you guys are excited about that, but I am super excited. I cannot wait to be able to show you um, how that's all going to work. So that's why I ordered uh, the last, you know, one of those products I showed you in today's box. But now let's look. I got the Ultramarine. So Ultramarine, I don't think I grabbed my... Uh, all right, I didn't grab my pins, but I can just take one of these other ones, make sure it's cleaned off to poke the hole, and I will put pins in them before I put them away. I won't forget. <laughs> Famous last words. Okay, so we have Ultramarine, and we are going to swatch those. We are going to swatch those. So I got Scarlet. So there's, whoops, there, focus for me. She's, it's seeing too much of what's on the table still. She's like, I don't know what to do. There we go. So we got Scarlet. <clears throat> and of course, Black. I cannot wait to show you guys Black. This was the thing, like, had me so excited. So we are doing that. We are diving in. But the other, all the colors that you see up at the top of the screen here, one of them, or excuse me, six of them were in the Craft Spritzer set. And that came with six brush -o, which I showed you in the last live, but came with six, <clears throat> six colors of brush -o and this spritzer, which I have filled with distilled water. These colors are the ones you see with the colored dots. For whatever reason, they gave me little swatches on top. Oops, that's gonna be in the way. And that will go away. Um, after this week, that will not be here anymore because if I like how this went and it, as we're using it, everything goes smoothly. I will give them their money and that will go away. That's because they're letting me try it. They're letting me demo it. Basically, they're letting me demo it today. So, yeah. So those are the colors that you get in this with the spritzer. Okay. So this craft spritzer set, it is in the link in the description below. And I believe I also have the link for the brush of colors directly on Blix website because you can order them separately. You can order them in different sets. So check that out if any, if these interest you. So I know some of you were interested last time. <coughs> Man. Ooh, now the other set I have is the Brusho Assorted uh, pack of eight colors. And these had rose red. Oh, I didn't even tell you last time. So you had alizarin crimson, orange, sunburst lemon, violet, sea green, and turquoise. And for those of you who are not remembering or were not here, <clears throat> man, <clears throat> I'm having a hard time breathing today. <clears throat> it's going to be fun because you know what? I told you guys I was going to have Lou mix me up a um, bleach and water solution and he did. And we're going to try it today and hopefully we will have no issues. So right down here on the bottom, sea green, turquoise, Violet, 
sunburst lemon, orange, and alizarin crimson. Okay, so those are your colors in the six set. Let me just bring those up so you can see them even closer. They are beautiful colors. They are beautiful colors. And if you are here this time but weren't here last time, you're in for a treat because I'm going to show you some stuff. And then we have um, in the set of eight, you have rose red. That's this one. And I'm just going to hold it up so you can see them slightly better as I say their colors. Okay. So then we have burnt sienna. I'll just go in this order. You have terracotta, rose red, olive green. Look at the colors that make up that olive green. So beautiful. Sandstone, yellow ochre, moss green. Moss green is one of my favorites. Um, <clears throat> man. Uh, lime green, and then the burnt sienna. And I did, uh, did you guys see, if you follow me on MeWe, I made a card. I made a, I had to make a birthday card, and I gotta make a birthday card today too, and I'm gonna do that as we're playing with them. So, I did the birthday card, and I did flowers. I wanted it to be nice, a loose sketch. And I don't know if I have, oh, I don't know if I can do it, guys. This is, I'm gonna see if I can, and I will only give it a second. And if I can't make it work really fast, then it's, I'm just gonna move along. Because, I think I can drag it and drop it in. would be if I can, I don't know why it's not showing up. Okay, well, <coughs> <coughs> wow, my apologies. Oh, okay, let me see if I can get this to come over here. And I don't know if it's gonna pop in or not. Ah, look at that. Now I gotta be able to figure out how to get it off the screen, but I got it on it. So this here was a card I made with the brush out. And I wanted a very, can I move this over just slightly? Okay. I wanted a very loose sketch here and you'll see like down at the bottom, I just dropped while well, that was wet. I used some watercolor on the background and then I dropped in, <clears throat> excuse me, sea green at the bottom and all I did was sprinkle across the bottom while it was wet and it just grew up and did that on its own like I just tipped it slightly so I took the card and I like tipped it downwards just a little bit this is so not typical to what I would do for artwork this is this is way not anywhere near my style and you know what I loved it because I had so much fun doing this I had zero expectation and I was just like, you know what? I'm going for it. So I took the bottom flower you see on there on the left. I took my water and I wet the petals that I was doing. And then I just sprinkled very carefully orange into the areas. And you see how even on, I'm going to move this now to the side. Okay. So you see how in the swatch of the orange, see the separations that you get? And there you see it coming up in the orange flower. And on the red flower, <clears throat> excuse me, that was, yeah, I believe that was the alizarin crimson. Yes, yes. So I did the alizarin crimson for the bottom flower. And again, I just, with the water, made the shape of the flower went in with a little bit of alizarin crimson and the same for the top the top was violet <coughs> same thing then i took and i gave just a little extra sprinkle so that it would kind of go a little bit outside where i knew that i'd want the flower to be same on all of them and i then i took my like um mr bottle and i gave them a mist 
so that you got that, you know, little outside the flower. And then I just came in with a doodle style. I didn't care if it was in the lines, out of the lines. I doodled at the end. And you can, you can, with whatever you want. I believe I use the, it was either, I'm going to take this away now that you guys have seen that. But that was just a little, <coughs> excuse me, card that I did with the brush out. So it was either the Art Alternatives Pigment Liner, which I'm pretty sure that's what it was, or I would have used a um, Tombow Funosuke um, pen, so uh, brush pen. Um, but I'm pretty sure for that card, it was the Art Alternatives Pigment Liner because it was sitting here on my desk. All right, so today, let's dive in. And I just want to say, is George, is George here? Um, let me catch, I, I want to catch up with chat. I want to dive into these colors with you, but I do want to catch up with the chat. Um, getting us mistakes, yes. Okay, Hobby Artist said, I've been wanting to try those when we were talking about the Daniel Smith watercolor sticks. With how much I love pans more than tubes. If I ever go back to watercolors as soon as budget allows, I totally understand that. I'm putting together a set of these watercolor sticks. Now, I will say that when you're talking uh, watercolor sticks, okay, in the Daniel Smith line, Daniel Smith has a huge range of colors. However, <coughs> excuse me, they do not have the complete range available in the sticks. So you're a little limited, but there's still plenty of colors and they're so beautiful and definitely, definitely worth checking out. So, yes. Uh, George says, oh, George is here. Hi, George. <coughs> <coughs> excuse me I'm sorry guys I hope that wasn't too loud because I forgot to reach over and hit the I was like covering my mouth so I wouldn't cough on all of you instead of realizing you're not in the studio and I just needed to quiet the button <coughs> ah I am not sick it is literally just cleaning and hustling beforehand and it should have calmed down by now I don't know why it's not okay <coughs> probably <coughs> Because my anxiety is going crazy because I haven't done these yet and I want to show them to you. So George says, running late, recovering from grocery store. Whoa, wait, whoa, wait. I just heard that George went to the grocery store. So those of you who don't know, I'm always teasing George Pencil Art when I am the moderator in other people's live streams. And every time George comes, he's like, oh, you know, he's just arrived and he's having a, you know, he's always having some kind of lovely snack. And I'm sitting there modding and I can't take my eyes off the thing because, you know, bots and all. And I always have to beat Jared, especially when I'm over at Gypsy Heart Crafts doing it. <coughs> so I always tease. He brings, he brings snacks and I say he has to share them with the group. And so he just went grocery shopping. So I can't wait to hear what kind of snacks we might have this week. And then, oh, and finishing his lunch now. He's probably finished with his lunch now because I'm so far behind in chat. Jamie said that she, uh, let me see. Blah, blah. Same here when I was talking about organizing my studio. And I cannot believe that my brain is remembering right where we were in these conversations today. <clears throat> Same here, Angela. I organized mine so I knew, or so I know, exactly where everything is. Although I moved a few things and it threw me off at first, doesn't it? I'll be like, oh, this is going to be so much better like this. And then as soon as I need it, I go back to where it was before. And I'm like, oh no, where was that best place I thought it should go? Yeah, I do that all the time. Okay. <clears throat> and, you know, I just, if there are Anybody who maybe hasn't said hello in the chat, but you're just out there watching. I appreciate you. Thank you. And George, I, I guess that I hope George is still here. <coughs> because George asked a specific question. 
And I'm going to get, I did not forget, I have my stuff here. And I will tell you guys about that in a moment. But I promised him I would show this today, and so I will. Um, you guys have seen me with my green there. I actually have three glass pens. I just grabbed two. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Okay, so we're going to talk about these and how we can use this in what we're doing. And uh, But yeah, if you are here and you you know haven't said hello, drop, drop a hi. Say hi. Say hello in the chat. We love to hear from you. Or, you know, if you are not a talker in chat, that is fine too. We still appreciate you being here. Okay, so that's got the ultramarine open. Right now I'm just poking the hole in the tops of the containers so that we can make some swatches. And I'm probably going to do the swatches across here and go it's, it's gonna really mess with my head but uh spoiler alert the other night these will not be the last new colors you see because i put in an order i was unsupervised guys and uh, we have 14 people with us right now hello everyone if you're just joining we are about to see what black brush show really looks like let me tell you something for you people if you have never seen black brusho before <coughs> <coughs> wow you're in for something because it's amazing all right i'm just putting these boards underneath because these have uh just papers that i'm going to be working on and that is the b watercolor paper but we'll get there okay and this guy is going to be the card that i have to do and Hopefully I remember. Okay. I was like, oh, hopefully I remember where the seam of the card is. Otherwise I'll paint it upside down. That would be hilarious. Especially for the person who's getting it. They would just think it's funny. Okay. Okay. Here we go. We've got, um, don't tell Lou. Yeah. Shh, don't tell Lou. Ah, uh, there we go. George is uh, the canned chicken and the Doritos. All the almonds are gone. Darn it. I was talking too long. It's too late. Oh, yeah. Hobby artist said, uh, be careful. <coughs> Excuse me. For those of you who might not have been here, these were in my little mini art hall. And she said... Be careful about snapping the holder apart. Once they're individual, you can't put the holder back together. Yes, that is very true. It cannot go. It's not like I can take it apart. I can put it back. You either you keep them in groups of five or you break them off and they're singles. So there we go. <coughs> All right. That was good advice. Oh, that would not be good, Gypsy Heart. Ashley, I had two wasps get in my studio this morning. I had to kill them. It gave me a heart attack and a headache all in one. It would send my adrenaline would be insane. If I hear summer's crazy for me, because if I even hear a bee or a wasp, and yes, sometimes it makes everybody around me is in hysterics because even a fly, I won't know it's a fly. I can't see it. It's not in my peripheral vision. I can just hear it buzz in my ear and I will, I will move. I will move fast. It is the only time you will ever see me move quite so fast. And uh, cause I'm allergic to them. So I am allergic, like I have an EpiPen uh, allergic to them. <coughs> I can't do bee stings, wasp, wasp stings, not good. Not good. Um, oh my goodness. I'm not sure if that ding came through on my computer. I silenced my phone, but then I don't think I... Still learning. Still learning, folks. Thank you for your patience. <laughs> I'm feeling I'm going to say that for a lot for a little while. Um, oh, there's the answer to my question. So, Ashley said... The PY-129 isn't one of the pigments I covered. No, it actually wasn't. It was the next one. The one that I said after that was the one that I got because of you. That one right there I got because it's just gorgeous. It I just got that one because it was gorgeous. It was the um, 
the phthalo green yellow shade. That was the one that I got because of things that you had covered with mixing. Um, yes, so just green gold or azo gold. Correct. Thank you. I knew you, I knew you'd get me the info. <clears throat> Uh, da, da, da. Uh, Jamie, Jamie just did a little haul too. She shared that with us over in the art group. Said that she almost bought some more of the uh, Daniel Smith sticks. Maybe next time. Yeah. Um. Uh, let's see. Starving Artist Collector said PG-36 is actual Viridian. Wonder why they labeled it a phthalo, which is PG-7. Well, <coughs> excuse me again, guys. I apologize for the coughs today. Just, unfortunately, it is something that today I cannot help, and I'm trying to keep it to a minimum or mute you guys while it happens when I know it's going to be bad. Um, so this phthalo green yellow shade... If you give me just one more moment so I can take care of this. Um, let's see. Phthalo cyanide green PG 36. So that is what it says on here. So that is what it is labeled as from Daniel Smith. Oops. Oh, I almost had it in focus. There we go. Okay. So that's just so that you guys can see that second line, first and second line. So there you are. That is the information that is out by them. <coughs> wow. <coughs> <coughs> Okay, so today let's look at, let's look at these colors, let's look at these colors. All right, Jamie is starving and I'm scrolling and I hope if you guys were talking to me that you use the at, um, Yeah, I hope that you use the, the at Clark Fine Art that way there. I will definitely be able to see it. Right, there we go. One fifth of the stick will fill one half pan fully. See, that's what I was saying. Like I knew it was going to fill. Like you're gonna you get so much out of those um and that's why I was just like, you know what? I, I'm going to do it. I want to see. I want to try it because I had heard the same kind of thing. So thank you for sharing that because they say they're a great value. I mean, for what you pay for the 15 ml tube and then what you pay for that, you know? Yeah. Oh my gosh. You're not kidding, George. I'm just reading. I'm catching up through where George, where everybody was talking about the bugs, the critters. And he said, uh, Bugs that are a problem in Virginia. I lived in Virginia for a while. Yes, I definitely agree. Um, okay. Uh, just making sure, making sure. <coughs> Excuse me. Ah, see, just that settles it. You know, put some of those oil pastels aside uh, for good. Well, why? I wouldn't say for good. Just, just set them aside. You might want to, you know, circle back. And uh, getting these sticks, I'll have to share. With, I will share them in an upcoming video so that everybody can get a good look at them and how they work because that would be ex exciting to do. Maybe I can fit that in next Thursday. We will see. Just because there's only three of them. So I'll, if I just take three pieces, put them in a pan, and then show you how they activate and what they look like. We'll just swatch the three colors. <clears throat> I don't see why I couldn't do that live next Thursday. 
Uh... Oh, George said they're talking about bugs. Yeah, see, I'm like, oh, I'm way behind in the chat, and I want to catch up, and I don't want to miss anything, but I don't want to leave you guys just sitting here staring at this. Okay. Oh, there we go. Yes, she put the uh, link <clears throat> to his book. Thank you. I, I have not heard anybody that has said they don't like it, whether publicly or privately, that, you know, just somebody saying it to me. And not that I would really share that information, but I can say nobody has said that to me. Um, okay. Ah, uh, yes. She said, sorry, says, oh, yay. Love my antique book press. I saw it. And I was already, my mindset was already going down that road that I have got to try to do this. And then not long after that, you shared the picture of your book press. And I'm like, okay, that's just, it's too much coincidence. Like I, we need to, we need to talk about this. So anyways, I started, I went on down a rabbit hole, went looking, searching for knowledge and stuff. And, uh, yeah, I, then I went to Lou and I always do this too. I'm like, um, hun, could you possibly, um, could you possibly make this for me? And I'll show him pictures. And then he's like, oh yeah, maybe, but what if we did it like this? What if we did? It? And I'm like, so yeah, it's in his brainstorm phase and hopefully I will have one soon. And Joseph said, hello, stuck out of the house. I'll do what I can. Well, I'm glad that you are here. You're stuck out of the house. Well, I hope that you get unstuck and get to get back in the house. <laughs> All right, Belle, I think I said hi to Belle. Okay. Oh, you're welcome. You are welcome. Yes, you are very welcome. It's to Jamie talking when I was talking about her channel. Excuse me. Oh, I so need that. Okay, I'm not sure which one you needed, but yes, you do. You do. You need it. You need them all. Yep. See? Oh, I'm glad. See? I'm telling you guys. Uh, just do... You know what? If you are watching this, if you're watching it now, or if you are here joining us on the replay, Welcome. If you're interested in what he's going to do in that book press and how you might actually be able to get one, you drop me a comment below because then that'll kind of give him some sort of idea. Hey, th this is something that maybe people are interested in and he may make, uh, you know, a few of them because I don't think it would take him long to even make a dozen of them. And I don't know how much demand there would be, which is why I want to start like getting an, an inclination of that now <clears throat> so that I know what he's got to do. Excuse me. So, yes. All right. Oh, interesting. Sorry, I was saying somebody made a, a book press out of two cutting boards. <coughs> Bread cutting boards. <coughs> yeah, excuse me. I would imagine they have to be nice and smooth because you're not going to want to mess up your paper. Uh, and that was the other thing that I told him was that we really needed to make sure, you know, because it's watercolor paper. You can't damage the paper. And so, yes. Uh, I'm just saying, I'm seeing like some bots showing up on my end, but they may have already been taken care of. I'm just making sure that yes, in fact, they were. Okay. Oh, Teresa. Yeah, I've, you know that you're right. You're a hundred percent right. So this, maybe I have to get me, you know what? I need to get some over here in the studio because I have it everywhere else in the house. And, um, Hey, you have a chronic cough too. Uh, a bit of it. Vicks Vapor Rub under your nose will help it. Yeah, not only that, like a little bit like right on your, where your chin meets your throat. 
right there, a little bit on your neck right there, that helps immensely too. And usually when it gets really bad, I, that's I use that all the time. So <clears throat> great information. Uh, yeah, I can't, Jamie says I just chew gum or, or suck on hard candy and I can't do that um, because of my TMJ. So I can't chew gum. Okay. Ooh, did I get caught up? I think I'm caught up. All right. Yay. We are caught up. Thank you for your patience. I, I, I feel like I'm finally, finally there. So these are the paintbrushes and they are linked in the description. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, Teresa says, good to know. Yes. And Jamie says, I have peppermint oil that helps with coughs and headaches as well. Yes. Yes. These are all good things. Uh, peppermint is a good one to soothe your throat. It's also a good one if you are really hot. Drink some peppermint, peppermint tea, and it'll cool you down. Okay. So I'm grabbing, so these brushes, we've talked about these a couple times. Actually, I couldn't find them the last time I wanted to use them for you. Because I want to really be able to give these a good test. And is my light getting... All right, just seemed like my light was low. So anyhow, I really wanted to give these a good test and see. Now, I'm going to say one thing about these right out the gate. They come in this zipper pouch, okay? These were the ones I showed you where they were like, oh, it's a, this is a three-quarter inch cat's tongue. This is not a cat's tongue. And according to the back of the package, this is supposed to be a one-inch flat. I have not emailed them yet, which I told you guys I was going to do. It did not make my list, which means I forgot. Don't tell anybody. So, yeah, I need to email them and be like, hey, because I cannot recommend these yet. Um, I'm going to say that. Hold on. Can you guys let me move this so you can just see maybe over the black. Can you see the wiggle in that ferrule? You see that? I'm just pressing here lightly back and forth. It's got some wiggle. Now, some of these you can like tighten it up, <clears throat> but um, yeah, hear it? You guys hearing that? That's that looseness in the ferrule. So not real thrilled. I'm not real thrilled with this set so far. Now, the cat's tongue I have liked. And for the price, I don't know, maybe you look at the price and you go, if the cat's tongue's worth it, it's it's worth it. And that may very well be so for you. Only you can make that choice. I cannot make that choice for you. I can only tell you what I'm experiencing with them. So, <clears throat> <clears throat> man, I can tell you though, I have ordered two more sets of brushes. I have two more sets of brushes and... Um, they should be here by Monday. Yeah, uh, I've got some coming tomorrow and some on Monday. So if you are one of my patrons, uh, when we do our Discord chat tomorrow morning, uh, we're live at 1030 a.m. Eastern time every Friday. That is so much fun. We have such a good time. And basically, we talk about the stuff that you guys want to talk about, art related, um, what are your art goals for the week? Uh, what are you trying to achieve? Is there something you need help on? Those kind of things. We have a lot of fun. So if they get in before we have that chat, I will share them w with you over there. But I'm going to test them out for you guys right here next Thursday because I am still in the hunt. I absolutely 100% recommend silver black velvet brushes, but I understand that they are not in everybody's budget and I want to find a really nice um, alternative brush that's currently out there for you. So I do like the Mimics and maybe if it's something that you guys are interested in, you'll have to drop me a comment. So if you're watching the replay or you're here live, drop me a comment and let me know. Uh, going over different watercolor brushes to help you choose some that would be good for you, is that something that interests you? Because if it does, I'd be more than happy to create a video on it because um, I've already been pretty much collecting brushes to do so. So I would do it sooner versus later. So there. But now let's get our, and the, the, this, um, this set has 
from a, the rounds are a size zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, up to seven. And then a quarter inch flat, a one inch flat, which I'm showing you is right here. And that is not an inch. I hate to break it to them. If it's supposed to be a full inch in width, it's not. Um, and then there is the um, two aught liner brush, right? Two slash zero. I say two aught. <coughs> <coughs> Man. <coughs> It's not usually this bad. It started yesterday. I was like, just as I was getting into Ashley's stream, I was like, oh no, coughing attack came on. I kept muting myself, but you guys didn't notice because she was talking. So if I wasn't speaking at the time, you just didn't know. That's 0 0.67, 0 0.67 inch. So that's a half. And it says that's supposed to be a one inch flat wash. So that's just, I'm just showing you guys information. Only you can make a choice. Let's look at these colors. So first I'm going to do um, Scarlet because it'll be, it'll be right here next to the Alizarin and Crimson. I'm just going to write that down, Scarlet. And I'm going to do it the same as last time. I'm going to have Scarlet and I'm going to have Ultra, Ultra Marine on, um, yes, I just kind of broke that apart and then black because I want to have room to keep them. I think I want them all the same way. And I was got a little, got a little busy here. I didn't think I was going to get more colors, but we have that, the colors. <coughs> um, George asked about, <coughs> excuse me, we were talking about, <coughs> damn it. We were talking about the glass dip pens and I said that I use them a lot with watercolor. And also the, like the calligraphy type pens. Now that's not my favorite one. My favorite one. Oh, I grabbed my bag. It's right here. I love this guy. It's not in the, this is not in the description yet below, but I will link these up if people are interested in them. Man. Okay. So this guy is the Takakawa. And this has, it comes with two. There are, oh, where's the other one? There's a smaller one too, and it has like white on it, but it doesn't have a cover. This one, you see, I just pulled it out of my, this is one of the bags that goes in my go bag. And I'll have to share with you guys that another time, like what I keep in there and stuff like that if I want to do stuff on the go. So, this here, my nib is in it and I can just, and now I'm not going to stab myself if I reach in my bag to grab it. So I love this one. And again, this is by, this is a Takikawa and, um, Takikawa, Takikawa, however you would like to say it. Um, but I like the little, the grip and yeah, I use these for watercolor. And so I, anyways, I told George I would share and there are so many different kinds. You can get a set like this. I will go back after this is done and it may not be immediately. It may be later tonight. So if you're looking for these, I will update you with that. <clears throat> um, this is a set that you can get. It comes with these two holders. This is course by Speedball. It comes with these two holders and it comes with six nibs. You have 99, 56, 102, 107, 108, and the 512. And that is just the shapes. Okay. So you see there the different shapes and sizes. That's what those correspond to. You have the two holders that you can just slide that in. This one here has, if you see that, see how it's an outer and an inner because some of these tiny, these tiny, tiny little nibs you see here. If I flip that up, I don't know if it's going to show us on the camera. Yep. Right there. Okay. See how small the holes are? They need that little center space. I am loving this camera. I hope you guys are liking this camera. It, it seems to be getting a such better picture as long as it focuses. So this is a set that you can get, which would come complete with some nibs and Speedball makes it. Okay, so I will make sure that I come back and link this. It's not the one I'm going to use today. 
just to demonstrate. And I just want to demonstrate because I told um, George that I would. Now, this is another one. This is Koinor. So Koinor, which is, you know, for, out of Germany. <clears throat> this is the number 127N. And this has cork. <clears throat> Excuse me. Cork on the bottom. And... This guy, see the end? And you just push your nibs in there. So I haven't used it yet. Um, I liked it. I like the way it holds in the hand. But this is definitely, and you know, I should have known better because I got this. But <clears throat> this set, and there is another one. I don't know why it's not here, but it's not. Um, this was recommended by Steve Mitchell, who, if any of you are not familiar with who Steve Mitchell is, he has the channel, The Mind of Watercolor, and yeah, <clears throat> wow, he was the one who recommended this, and again, this was a big part of it, and I was like, I gotta have it in that grip, it's wonderful. So we'll talk about that, you'll see me use it when I do the two pieces. Okay, let's get them swatch so i said crimson scarlet first and of course of course it wouldn't be fun without my little shaving scuttle here and i have my paint puck in the bottom and guys i have a link to those and these are the tiny paint pucks these are really little and i have something planned where i'm going to show you my go bag and in my go bag um in here, and this is just part of my go bag. This actually goes into my go bag. So within my go bag, um, the different things that I carry and these little paint pucks come in handy <coughs> for the way that I use water on the go. So, okay. That'll be a different video because I am planning a quick little video and it'll be an edited video in which by the way, while I'm wetting the paper, let me just let you know, edited videos will be returning. And again, huge thank you for everybody's patience. But they will be coming back, and they will be coming back on a regular basis. All right, so we have our Crimson Scarlet, and then the, I, they touched. It's gonna try to travel down. I'll see if I can dry that up a little in between to kind of stop that flow all the way. Um, yeah. <laughs> Tara said there might be an inch somewhere <laughs> where we are measuring the, um, this <coughs> brush. <coughs> Excuse me. There might be, but yeah, I don't know. It, maybe it's new math. I'm not sure. Ugh, you must have all the colors. Yes. Well, I'm going to tell you, there are six more brush -o colors coming. I am not done with brush -o yet. So, um, hobby artist said, I'm looking forward to you swatching the Daniel Smith st uh, sticks next week. I don't have uh, either oil pastels or... Daniel Smith sticks, but Daniel Smith sticks look more travel friendly if flying. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> um, yeah, they I, they would, I would imagine. Okay, here we go. Crimson Scarlet. And so if you remember, I had my palettes. I'm going to set these brushes aside. Again, they are linked below. So if it's something that interests you and you want to check them out, they are very economical. However, you know, I'm just, just just saying, are these the ones that I'd say could could substitute for silver black velvet? No, I don't think so. <coughs> I don't think so. And when I'm done, <coughs> man, when I'm done, they may go to, um, I may donate them to, I don't know, some little people who like to make art. He'd be more than happy with them. Just see if I can't get Lou to put some glue in that ferrule so it can't wiggle and wobble. Okay, so I just did a few taps of the Scarlet here. 
Because if you remember last time, I actually did the drops with the pipette, right? I did a few taps and I did a couple drops. All right, um, pipette, pipette right here. So we'll try to keep everything the same way. I think it was like three, three drops. Pretty sure it was like three drops. Okay. So one, two, three, four, maybe it was four, four sounding familiar. All right, and we're gonna mix that up. And actually, let me give it another little tap. There we go. All right. So here is our Scarlet. And you see, I still have some of those other colors still in here from last time. But I did bring, um, I told you I got the, I got Lou to make me the bleach solution because <clears throat> unlike regular watercolor, you know, when you do regular watercolor and you spray, um, I'm looking up like I'm looking at the camera. You guys haven't seen me in weeks. Wait till you see me. I think I'm going to see you next week. Um, so, you know, you know how like when you spritz it with water, it'll kind of like push the color away. <clears throat> Man, not so with brush -up. Fun facts. Um, no, you spritz water over brush -up, you're going to find all kinds of other crystals that you didn't realize were there. And of course I have my... other well here you know the one i just didn't want you to all of a sudden hear noises of it draining right right there that is my um let me turn it it is the rinse well and that is by i believe it's masterson <clears throat> all right here we go so now, just rinse that, set that pipe up here. There we go. Grab some clean water, make sure the bottom half of this, and we will drop that scarlet in. Ready? Oh, wait a minute, I see blue. You guys can't see it. Let me slide that up, there we go. There was blue on the paper there, but that's okay. Here we go with the scarlet. There goes the scarlet. And I think, let me try, let me see if I can't get you guys another, another view here. All right. Well, that is different, isn't it? <clears throat> you see, I have the, the overhead it's up here on the left for now. It will return to its normal position later. It's just, as you can see, I can't get rid of that right now. So I'm going to leave it on the left. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, I'm going to leave it on the left just for now. Mm. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> I will rearrange this so you can see better. <sighs> Scarlet. We just get get it so that you have the best view, okay? And actually, so I have you can see right here's where we're right here is where we are working and please let me know I, mean, I got one more view and you guys tell me which one you like better from the side I can give you that look or we can run this look so option one option two this would be option two this would be option one and again I can set that for you differently. So drop it in the comments. Let me know. And we'll go with it. Option one or option two. All 
and you're going to see these cameras change again next week also i know option two says teresa option two what well, kind of makes me dizzy so all right that was option two so if that is if you are liking that right there we'll just go with that <clears throat> <clears throat> okay yeah i've got some i've got some things coming that are they're going to alter how things are in here all right so next we have ultramarine come in with that water i'm not going to put the water down the bottom yet i think that's how i did it last time first just mix up our ultramarine Make sure I'm grabbing the right thing. Hmm, I gotta tell you, this one doesn't come out so easily. It's me tapping, tapping it. Okay, get our drops of water. Ooh, I think I like that look of that color so far. It's our ultramarine. And I'm very curious to see because true ultramarine is usually a very granulating color. Um, you know, these are crystallized pigments. So will it? I don't know. I don't know. Gonna find out. So I'm putting plenty of pigment in there just because I want to know. Is it going to give me some granulation? Will I get that? Rinse that off. Get some clean water. Okay. And last, but not least. Oh, we got to do, wait a minute. We can't get there yet. All right. It was there. Some of that must have... Hold on. We're gonna we're gonna see if we can scrub and lift some of that. Some of that scarlet dust had to have been beside us. And I'm not looking to make purple right now. I want to show you ultramarine. I'll make sure I clean that off before I do the black because I want you to really see the black. So that was the whole big thing. Ultramarine. Okay. Oh, look at it just circling around, just swooshing down. You see that? Ugh. That the way that it's separating, I'm going to take it back to the overhead um, because look at that. I got a little dust into the uh, crimson scarlet, but look at how the ultramarine, look at the color shift in that. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, here we go. Here we go. First, I'm going to take the black, put my ultramarine down here, take the black, I might need to just make that hole just a tiny bit bigger, and we're going to Take our clean water. Mix that up. 
So you see, very black, right? What's all the excitement about? It's black. Trust me, I didn't like bait and switch. I didn't. There's a reason. You're going to like it. So there's that black. So when you want black, right? It's very nice. Very nice. I don't know why that is looking so dim. And of course, this is my first time with this camera. So Let's see if I can't brighten that up just a little bit for you, which might mess with my side cameras. But if you can see it better, this one should be able to see it better. It's just looking awfully dark over here, and I don't know why. All right. Here we go. Let's see if we can't get to number two. Is that the one you guys said, number two? Yes. All right. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I will turn it around. Because then that is going to put, sorry if this is making anybody dizzy. All right. Because I want you to see, really see that black. And I probably got this up a little too high now. Yeah, we'll just tone that. Because that camera does not. There we go. All right. And, uh, da, da, da. So, Starving Artist Collective said, I find the olive green and black are my most used colors. Just my favorite explosions. I can definitely see that that's, yes. And Belle says the black is awesome. Let's see. Let's show everybody who hasn't seen it. We are going to get this wet. I'm just going to get this good and wet. I want it to hit that paper and I want it to move. And you see, I, I touched that little corner, so it's already going to want to come on down. All right. I'm not a fan of that brush. It's very wiggly. You ready? Here is the black brush out. <clears throat> <laughs> okay, here we go. I might did suck all the water in already because we are not seeing. We are not seeing the normal. I'm gonna. I, we're gonna do that on a bigger scale. We are gonna do that for sure on a bigger scale. When you do black, you get, like, if I just did that before I did this, if I just said, hey, check out this color, what color do you think that is? You know what I mean? It doesn't, it's got so many colors, so many pigments in it, and then it's black. It makes a beautiful black, but it's just like, I mean, look at that. Look at those, look at those colors. Look at those colors. Ugh. It's gorgeous. It is gorgeous. All right, let's see it. I'm going to set this aside. And I want to show you. Now, we're talking about brush -o. <clears throat> You don't want to work your brush -o too much. You're going to make mud. I can tell you this. From some fun experience. Do you remember? Do you remember when we were doing our, you know, playing with these the first time, right? We swatched them. We remember this guy? Um, I mean, I'm going to go to the overhead because that's going to show, it's not going to overexpose this paper. Okay, so we did this guy. Okay, that one was still my favorite. <clears throat> 
<clears throat> Look at all the colors in there. Look at that. Those are just gorgeous. And that was that burnt sienna that was in that upper left corner. It was gorgeous. Sheila said, I was thinking bird feathers. I had the exact same thought. Let's, we're going to do it. Um, and then, of course, I did the tree in the water. And that was so much fun. And, we, of course, we used wax resist here. Loved it. Um, but sometimes you just keep wanting to fix something and it does not work out. Like this guy, our messy tree. Now, I haven't thrown this away yet because, you know what I thought would be great? There's a lot of texture here. And I think that what I'm going to do is maybe grab my pastel pencils and maybe see if I can brighten up some colors and just add some, you know, just see, why not? Because I'm going to throw this piece of paper away. So why would I not grab them and play around and just see what can I do? Maybe I'll record it and if it works out, you know, I'll just throw it up as a quick short video. And, um, but yeah, see, I played too much and it, I got to be mud, but it's fine. Um, Teresa says, I have to pick up uh, Skylar, I will come back and check the replay. Thank you. Thank you for being here as long as you could. <clears throat> All right. This is going to be very, very rudimentary. But because I told George I would show you this, I want to show you how I might use this. So I'm just thinking birds. And when you just had that, that, that statement, like bird feathers, um, <clears throat> it's not, I'm not thinking of any particular type of bird. This is going to be um, my crazy imagination bird. Okay. So first off, if I want to write and be able to, you know, draw with these, uh, one of two ways, I could either dip, if I had enough, I could just dip into it. Um, I could take my glass one too and I could dip in but when you don't what did I do with the other brush and now we had the other brush all right I'm just gonna grab one I know I had one out and I it's run away from me it's on my desk somewhere I'm sure but anyhow I have got the number six all right, so one of the ways that you can do this is you can take and grab the pigment, right? And you can, you can put it right on there, right? So I can, I can just fill that, those holes with it. Now this, uh, this nib has not been used before, so it may give me, um, a hard time sometimes with the new nib it'll it'll want to like kind of bead it almost makes me think of like a watercolor palette but yeah so if I've got that in there I'm just gonna set my brush aside here we'll set my brush in the holder that has paint in it don't forget okay I'm right-handed guys this is gonna be hard I'm just thinking um, I can stay for 10 minutes, but I can watch the rest later. Okay, perfect. So let's just think if we have, say a branch. Now, I'm just gonna see now. So now I'm actually drawing with the brush show. And I can do this, I can draw with the brush show. Or I could have used my nib to, you know, scratch into the paper. So any, any number of things, just whatever, whatever you want. I'm just going to add some, just throwing in some little texture. Yes. Yeah. 
um, Ashley at Gypsy Heart Craft said it could be beading from the oils from your fingers attaching it. Um, you could also use a pen cleaner to clean the oils from it. Yeah, I, all of those things are 100% correct. Um, I just have not. So listen, I'm literally just random little, just put some scribbles in. I'm not getting too particular about this. I just want to show you the black brush oil, right? Bark is, it is what it is. And again, this is just a fast doodle, like as if I was just messing around in my sketchbook. Maybe there's, maybe there's a little branch that comes off there. Maybe there's a little branch that comes off here. Okay. I love to take branches as you do the little squiggles. It's like, oh, and there's a little node, and that's where another piece would grow. And if I just need to refill, I can just, and you can do this with watercolor. brush -o, watercolor. You just fill your pen with your brush. If, you, if you know, the container's not large enough that you can dunk it into. You can just paint it in there. If you see, it's, it's in there. And I can just come down. I'm not going to get too carried away because that would be, that'd be very easy to do. I'm just thinking about branches going backwards. <clears throat> right? They grow all different, all different ways. It's fine. Okay. And again, there would probably be some up here as well. you see how when I do the like the jagged line, that's when I go, oh, well, right there's a node. That's probably where a new part of a branch would come off. And that's, I kind of look for those as I go when I do things. But again, it's fine. I just want to make a little bird. So now, let's get our bird. I'm going to throw some brush out in here. So this was one of the ways. And again, last time I showed you, oh boy. Last time I showed you how <clears throat> I got it on me. I got it on the desk. You could take your glass um, dip pen. And once you have the paint, then you could like scrape up like vegetation or something. All right, we're just gonna do a little bird. And again, this is not gonna be, I'm just thinking general, general shape. I'm not thinking any particular bird. This could be anatomically ridiculously not correct and that's okay. I'm, this is just like, this is one of those you would do it in your, right, in your sketchbook. It would be like a quick sketch. Very loose. All right. There we go. Maybe he's got darker on his head. Okay, that's it. I'm just gonna rinse that off. I'm gonna set it aside. Let's just throw some brush at it, see what happens. I like the black, um, but one of the things I wanna try is I want to take the black and I'm going to spritz some in along the bird. Okay. And we're just going to see what happens. Now, 
if I want to keep it from the tree, of course, I can cover that so that it's not on the branch. And we'll just try to get the bird. If it goes outside of the bird, we don't mind. And I'm going to take down here and do a little where his tail would be. Okay. Let's see what we get. I have no idea if this is going to work. Is it going to? Is it going to be horrible? I don't know, but we're going to find out. And that, that mist is dropping some um, bigger drops. I do have like a fine mister. I could try to spurt some in there. And you see I'm blowing that way. So of course it also sends the brush out that way. But that's okay. And look at, you see how the, our tree, hopefully I'm not making you guys dizzy. See how we're starting to get some stuff in our tree here. So now I can come back in if I want to and I can clean anything up maybe look at that color right there boom and there's his chest and perhaps i want to better define where his head's at he comes down and down here oh, we have some Maybe tail feathers. And his wing, and maybe his wing sits back like this. I'm just kind of lifting up some from his chest. And again, this is only the second time I've ever played with brush out. So, you know, just try it out. I love to do that. How many of you like to do that? Like, I love just getting my hands on a new medium and just being able to play with it. <clears throat> now see the darker colors are kind of banding down through here and I don't mind just letting it happen. Okay. Now I do see that I have some, I think that's going to be more red. Yeah, that's more red. All right, so I want, how about some sandstone? I'm going to take some sandstone and I'm just going to drop it in for it to be like the tree branch. And I'm just trying to be careful and just dropping on where the tree branch was because I know there's, it's still wet. Okay. And then we're just going to kind of let that sandstone do its thing. Give it a little, little mist of water. I'm going to turn it this way so that as I mist, I'm going to push it towards. And just kind of let it, let it spread. Sorry, I know, I'm turning. So there we are. And I can help him along just a little bit if I want. And I may, where I drew those in, decide, hey, I want to bring some of that brown right through my branches and make it to where that line work just kind of guides me now. 
Look at that. There we go. And you see out here, maybe there's brand, maybe there are leaves. Maybe there's leaves out there, which I think <clears throat> moss green. Moss green might lead itself to some nice leaves. Let's just give it a try. Moss green. I'm just, just gently around the areas of the branches. Dabbing a few little dabs with the moss grain. And now, let's see if we can't make those come to life. And I'm just controlling a little bit of the water that's in the bird. Kind of bring the pigment around. Just mix in a little bit with the brown from the tree. It's fine. What kind of bird is he? I don't know. But I hope you can see lots of things you can do with this. Now I want to show you another, another technique because we talked about it last time. So before we go, I want to make sure I'm going to let this dry and actually I'm going to pull up a little bit of the, cause it buckled. It's wanting to, and this is that B water paper, which is hundred percent cotton. I'm just going to suction up a little bit of this water here. just so it doesn't, you know, pull in weird ways. There we go. All right. You know, he's a little, you know, he's a little clustery right here, but We'll, we just wait, we'll see how it dries. And if he's not dry uh, before we're done, I will post it over in the MeWe group so that you guys can see that. So I'm gonna set him aside. Now, <clears throat> another thing that you can do with brush -o is you could do, I don't know how many of you make um, cards. I like to make cards. You can, this is just a flat piece that you could then like glue onto a card. So if you had just a basic card and then made this and you could stamp on it or, you know, what have you. Sorry guys, it's getting like, it's either getting really hot in the studio or it's me. Something's going on. Oh. First thing I want to do for this one is I am going to want to wet this whole area. And so here we just pick two, we're gonna to wanna to pick two colors. So I'm gonna choose black because that's what we really, really wanna see because we're gonna, we'll get to see that take off first. Um, but then I want you guys to think of what you want for the second color. We're only gonna do two colors here, okay? So I'm gonna start off by really wetting our paper. Sideways. There we go. 
and we we're gonna be finishing up here very soon I just want to be able to show this to you okay so our papers nice and wet we're gonna start with our black and I'm just gonna hit some areas And black just watch it go that is the black brush show look at those colors you see how amazing those colors are Tara said maybe scarlet you think scarlet would go with these colors what do you guys think I've got violet um, I'm just looking at what else is here because we want it to be cohesive for this we want to make sure that the other color that we put with it is cohesive so I have the suggestion I'm seeing is scarlet just letting you guys see watch that just kind of just kind of grows and moves anybody else so scarlet look I've got more and see there's more of the um <clears throat> The bird and branch look great. Look again later. Time to prepare a big snack. Okay, thanks for stopping by, George. I'm going to be going to in just a moment. So, <clears throat> thank you. Gypsy Heart says a yellow. I think a yellow with it. Lemon burst or a yellow ochre. Let me bring the swatches back over. So, here's our black. So, what do you think with the black? I was thinking like the turquoise or well, we could do a yellow. I was really thinking turquoise or like a violet. Um, it, now Tara said scarlet. Scarlet may play off that too. Burnt sienna or a blue. So burnt sienna, which you can see the colors in here. Olive green, olive green. Okay. All right. Olive green olive green all right olive green I just want to make sure that this is good and wet I'm gonna give it a spritz because at this point I don't want to brush over the water and we said olive olive green here we go I went heavier in some spots than others. Wow, look at look at how bright. How bright that is. Look at that. I'm gonna sop up a little bit of that pool that we've got going right here. I just don't want it to. I don't want it to ruin quite what we're going for here. It's going to take a little bit of that up. I'm just going to give a little bit of a mist at the corners. And so now what happens is you just let these mix and kind of mingle and do their thing. And when it's done you just end up with these random you see that's just wanting to like oh wow I'm gonna bend it and move it we're gonna end up with these random oh, oh. that corner it doesn't want to get into that corner it wants to be all around that corner it just doesn't want to get into that corner
and that just popped up. So again, this is that B watercolor paper and it's only 90 pounds. So it does, it does stress and buckle under this. We need to do something like this again with something that's got, you know, a bit more. The random color mixing is exciting. I love it. I love it. I am all of a sudden, I'm just not feeling well. Just again, picking up some of that extra pooling water. You see, I put this top in one of these. I feel, I feel dizzy. I think it's because I did not eat enough today. Should have used the red would be like blood vessels. Oh, so interesting. Okay. I just didn't want a little, I want a little less pooling so we can just see what we can get here. Take some of that back. Just let it, we'll just let it do it this thing. All right. I'm going to do one more, one more. I'm going to let this one dry. And after it dries, again, I'll post pictures in the, um, art group. Okay. Do it red, you said. Do it red, you said. Here we go. And now I'm thinking this is going to be the random background that will be the card I have to make. Okay. I'm going to do this one right here, Jamie, and then I am going to go because all of a sudden I'm just like not feeling so great and I don't know why. And I can feel that I'm getting hot, so I know I'm not feeling so great. All right. So I'm going to wet this. And I do have announcements that I wanted to share about next Thursday. But you know what, guys? I'm going to come on. Um, I'm going to do that through MeWe. Um, or the community tab here on, I'll do a community tab post on YouTube and I'll update you with all that stuff because I am excited about it. I know it doesn't sound like I'm excited right now, but I am excited about it. All right. So I'm going to do this one real quick and then I am going to let it go. I'm going to take the alizarin and maybe some violet. Are you ready? There's the alizarin. You can see it already has a little bit of purpley color to it. Here we go with some violet. Yes, it did subside finally. It's driving me crazy. But I don't know what. And, ooh, look at that already. Look at what we're already getting. I'm like, can I just get a little more? I don't know if it's because it's not wet enough over here. I don't want to ruin anything, but I want to get this area wet. Just trying to I'll spritz it. I don't want to brush it because I don't want to mess it up. I just want it to do whatever it's going to do. There we go. That, that did it. Just a gentle actually i'm going to take my fine mist and i'm just going to do a fine mist over it and i just have my and i'm just coming at it let it i'm going to turn i just want to catch these size try not to get too heavy on the water because you know i don't want it to start pooling again like the other one did it was a little too much water but now i've learned all right, and I'm not going to mess with that. I just want that to kind of, oh, I got down here maybe a little bit of spritz because 
it's not you see where that edge and I do want color to pick up right to the there we go right to where the tape is trying to give it the ability to get there there we go. I don't want to do too much water does doesn't it look like flowers in the background it does and I'm just like I think any area where I got maybe a little extra water maybe we'll drop a little bit more of the alizarin in because why not and the same for the um, purpley areas. So I'm just going to let that sit and I'm going to let it mix and mingle and do its own thing. And then what I'll do is share, um, I'll share photos after it's dry over on MeWe. And actually, I don't know, I don't know if, let me grab it, it's right here before we, before we go, I don't know if the heat tool... I'm going to mute you for that, but I don't know if the heat tool, if we dry this, um, you know, like granulating colors, I was talking about the, those you kind of want them to let them dry on their own. I don't know how this one will be. Oh, you know what we didn't? Nope. Wait a minute. Before we do that, I said I had the bleach solution made. I just want to show this to you. Oh, thank you, Jamie. So this is this mixture. I'm just going to kind of mix it. It's a 40% bleach, 60% water, just so you know. Okay. All right. So I'm going to be able to get little drops. Ready? Just so you can see what happens. I'm trying to just get one little drop to come out. You see it move? Like that one actually, like, oh, look at that, like, made its own a heart. So you can do some really neat things. And this is not bothering me. I actually cannot smell the bleach, which I've told you guys before. That can actually really affect me and my breathing. So I told Lou, I said, I need some, I need a bleach solution so we can test this out. And this is only 40 to 60. And as we just kind of give it time to do its thing, and then could you imagine if that was dry and then you could come back in with some light color? Okay, I do smell it a little bit, so I'm going to cap it. Now put it aside. So with bleach, you can see it's really starting to give some... Let me get that a little closer for you guys to see. It's really starting to give some interesting effect. So now I will let this one dry and uh, Sheila says maybe when dry paint some closer flowers with acrylics. That sounds really cool. I might just have to do that. Um, Sheila says that's interesting. Thank you, Belle. I hope I feel better. All of a sudden I just got really hot and sweaty and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm not going to pass out live on YouTube, am I? Like, I don't know what, what happened. And I, again, I think it was just, I was rushing so much. I was so busy today and I didn't take time to take care of myself and eat right. Gypsy Heart Craft said, I wonder what would happen if you laid down color, spritz it, let it sit for 30 seconds, 
then lay a paper towel over it and just barely tap up the excess. How much would pull up? Well, I could tell you. We will see you next time. Yes, next time. So next week is going to be a special week for me. <clears throat> I am going to be sharing with you some things that were sent to me from viewers and um i can't wait to i've been waiting to play with them and so i'm going to do it live and yeah the red, red and purple isn't that gorgeous look at how that's coming up um the bleach effect yeah like i said it's just really hard for me to do that because i have to be very careful around the bleach so sea green so Gypsy Heart had said, let me just kind of scroll to her comment real quick and then I'm going to, and then I'm out. What would happen if we, so we're going to lay down some color. Here we go. Boom, boom, boom. We've got some color on there. There we go. And then she wants to spritz it. So we're going to spritz it. I'm just trying to not get over there. Okay. So we've laid some down. We've spritzed it. And then she says, we let it sit for about 30 seconds and then tap up the excess how much would pull up. All right. Well, we'll find out. We'll let that sit for a minute. So... While that's sitting, yeah, I will be back next Thursday at 3 p.m. And please take a moment and check out the moderator's channels. Um, Ashley, Gypsy Heart Crafts, she helps me out. Um, invited me to stream with her yesterday where I got to have the headset be all mic'd up and... Um, that was fun. That was fun helping her out with the chat comments. I said, shoot, I need, I need that. I could have kept up with you guys a little better today. We would have been able to get some more stuff done. Um, so thank you for sticking around. Those of you who are still here, I so greatly appreciate you hanging out with me till the end. And I had a lot of fun playing with these. I hope you enjoyed watching. I'm just going to catch that before it runs off the desk. <clears throat> And Joseph, of course, is our other moderator. And you can, his link to his channel is in the description below as well. I will come back and update you guys um, on the other supplies I showed that are not in my list. But now let's go ahead and just give that a try. That's all arched up. And press it down. Lift it up. There you go. There's your answer. So I hope you all enjoyed that. I hope you like the black brush -o. I'm going to use it again. I will be trying to do another video with brush where we're actually going and like really paint something, not just messing around and testing it out and seeing what we can do, but really painting something. So for now, I am very much not feeling so great. Uh, so yes, I'm going to say a quick goodbye and loving the red and purple. I'm here, mostly listening. Okay. Um... have been glued to them. Hope you feel better. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why all of a sudden I'm just not feeling good. Like I am hot. I am sweating. Like, yeah, something's not right. Okay. And thank you. Yes. So thank you to the mods. Thank you everyone for being here. I greatly appreciate you sticking around. And yeah, don't forget. Excuse me. I had asked you in the beginning. And right now it's escaping me because I am, I am like sweating. Whew. Yeah. 
Uh, I had asked you in the beginning, drop me a comment as far as what you, um, was that for what you had wanted to see? Anyways, it's in there. Those of you watching the replay, you like, you, you know, you just saw it. Um, but do drop me a comment. What's your favorite color? What'd you think of the black? What did you think of when we did the bleach effect? Look at what we're getting with that. And I will post a picture of these over on the MeWe Exploring Art group. And again, if you're not already a member um, on MeWe, we would love to have you come over and join us. It is Exploring Art. The link is in, the link should be in the description below. Also, it's in the live chat, which also should be available after the video is done processing. But yeah, you can find it a few places. So I have a wonderful weekend, everyone. I know I'm forgetting lots of things and my apologies, but it does. Jamie says the black reminds her a calico cat. Yeah, the black is gorgeous. So drop me a comment. Did you like the bleach effect? Um, there you go. Gypsy Heart Crafts, your question. Now, see, you could even use this now as a backdrop in making a card and then you know stamp happy birthday or something on it and then you just glue that right to the card and there you go so ooh, they can be they can be fun to do i hope you enjoyed them what other ways that's what you can let me know in the comments thank you for staying to the end let me know in the comments after this is done go back to the video and just drop it down in those comments what other ways would you like to see me use brush? Oh, you just want to let's let's do an actual painting, like a full on painting or piece like that. Um, uh, there are so many things I've ordered the I've ordered six more colors and I bleach will shut my throat down, Jamie. That's it does not do me very well either. And so I have six more colors coming. And I have the wax resist crayons. So now I'm going to have even more stuff. So drop me a comment. How do you want to see me use the rest of brush out? We're going to do a video that's dedicated. And I'd like to do an edited video so that I can get into the project. And then you just really, the whole focus is that project. So let me know, drop me a comment and I'm going to kind of go from there. Um, so instead of using paper towel, uh, Ashley's question real quick before I sign off was, now I'm curious of instead of using a paper towel, what if you used another sheet of watercolor paper? Ooh, I need to test that. So there's another thing that you can do. And I forgot to bring it up to the studio tonight. So that's why I don't have it. But you know what? Oh, Jamie, I just did it real quick. And it was a 40. It was a only 40% bleach to 60% water. And Lou mixed it up for me ahead of time. So the only time I had to deal with the bleach was just when I did those drops. And I can't smell it right now in the studio. So it's okay. I'm going to make a, a short video on it. You, there is a neat trick that you can do with plastic wrap with brush -o. So you know what? I will try to film that little clip and get that up for you guys here at the beginning, by the beginning of the week so that you can see it. And uh, it's fun. You'll, you're going to want to watch. So once I do have that up, I'll put a, come back and put a link to that right here. And for those watching the replay, you'll be able to just jump over here and check it out. All right. And until next time, guys, I hope you have a great weekend. Check out the moderators and links. All links are in the description below. Uh, if you would like any of the things you've seen here today, again, my link for uh, my link for Blick is down there. And uh, I appreciate you sticking around with me. So drop me a comment. Tell me what would you like to see me paint? All right. With the brush -o. And we will... See you next Thursday at 3 p.m. Eastern for sure live. Lots of fun things I want to show you. And I will be using the community tab and keep you posted because I didn't get a chance to tell you about it today. But until next time, thanks for being with me today, guys. Bye-bye.